Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I'm checking out from RMS Beauty the Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. It retails for $48 for 29 milliliters or 0.98 ounces of product. Comes in 15 different shades. Which one did I get? 11.5 which looks like described as a buff beige with neutral undertones. Let's take a look at the description here. This is a non-comedogenic and silicone-free natural finish liquid foundation that provides all day medium coverage and skin improving benefits for a youthful looking complexion. Medium coverage, it's got titanol, titanol, titanil? Special ingredient, an advanced ingredient that visibly firms, tones, and smooths. Vegetable squalane, a moisture-rich plant-based emollient that hydrates, and an adaptogenic herbal blend. There are a lot of natural extracts in this. If you are sensitive to that, be aware. It is clean at Sephora. And let's take a look at how shade 11.5 swatches against a few others in my collection. Swatch time, starting from the wrist. First up is today's foundation from RMS Beauty, the Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation in shade 11.5. Second is from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15. Fourth, I've got from Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I could not fit a fifth swatch, and I would love your guys' opinions on whether you'd like me to swatch on my hand, which due to my new tattoos is a better color match in terms of what I would use to pick a foundation shade, or if you would like me to keep swatching on my hairy arms. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 47-year-old face. I will go in on one half with a damp sponge. The other half, I will use my BK Beauty 106 round foundation brush. It literally took about 50 pumps to get the air out of this, to get this thing to start going. FYI, I almost gave up thinking it was broken. But here we are. All right. Let's go in on the sponge side. I was buying this with the thought that being one of the light shades and not one of the more fair shades that it will probably be more of my summer shade, which is the time of year I am filming this. So at least there's that until I become the pale, pale goddess that I am the rest of the year. <laughs> this is blending out easily. I'm not noticing any scent. Does not have any noticeable scent to it. And that was some pretty nice coverage right off the bat. Even with a sponge, there's some good redness correction from one side to the other. You know me, I'm of course going to try to build it up, but let's try the brush side and see how it's looking over there. I'm, I'm feeling a little red today. I don't know why. This does have a bit of a peachy undertone to it, which I tend to find is where a lot of brands go when they're doing a neutral. Even though I think peachy tones tend to usually end up looking more cool, but this one's neutral, and uh, and I think it is reasonably neutral. My skin undertone is basically neutral. In the dead of winter, when I am as pale as pale can be in my world, I will lean slightly cool, and I personally prefer the slightly cool look to my undertone when I choose foundations, but I am generally neutral, so I can I can go either way. Let's take a look here. Yeah, you get a little bit more coverage with the brush. I would say they look equally smooth one side to the other. So if you have a preference, go with whatever you prefer. I'm gonna do just a smidge more product here. Boop. And we'll try to even out the coverage, 
get my little blood vessel. Let's get a little bit under the eyes and just kind of even everything out here. Get my little friend who's still in the process of fading. Thank you very much, little friend. Yep, buildable. Does not appear to have any issues building upon itself. Looks nice and seamless. I'm not noticing any any noticeable sign that I built it up. Sometimes product likes to sit on top of itself and you can tell the areas where you built it up. Oh yeah, this coverage is nice. This is some nice coverage. I'm liking the level of coverage we are getting. I would call it medium. It's not the most lightweight looking foundation, but you know me, I don't mind looking like I'm wearing makeup because I'm wearing makeup, <laughs> you know? It's, uh, that's the reality of what's going on. We have a nice like semi dewy finish, nothing extreme. It's got a nice reflect to it. Uh, I'd call it a nice healthy looking summery reflect. Let's zoom in and get a look at this one. It is smoothing texture really nicely. On the textured side of my face, I am a fan of how smooth that area is looking. The product does sit on top of the skin a little bit. That might change as it kind of warms up to my body temperature and all of that. It is smoothing nicely on my nose. It's not settling into pores. It's not currently clinging to any of the dry spots around my mouth. It's not clinging to any dryness between my eyebrows. My forehead looks good. It's not settling into any lines at this point. So right off the bat, we're, we're having a good start in the application arena. A little bit sitting on top of the skin in a couple places, but Let's not pass judgment yet because that may rectify itself over time. Let's take a look. It is 125. I'm going to go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the RMS Beauty. No issues to report. I did not set this with powder. Everything blended out just fine. I'm loving the medium coverage right up my alley. It is settling down a bit so it doesn't look quite so on top of the skin. It's got a nice reflect to it. I'm digging just enough dewiness without too much looking like I'm sweaty. I'm a fan. I'm liking this so far. So far so good. No settling into lines. No issues. We will see if that holds up on the rest of my face. I'm feeling very boring because I've been doing the same exact makeup look for three weeks now and I just change up my lipstick. But that's why I love this eye look because I can change up my lipstick anyway. ColourPop, all this will be linked down below. ColourPop Stone Cold Fox for my eyeshadow. My, <laughs> why did I forget what else you wear on your face? My busted up, broken, beloved Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer, Flower Beauty Blush in Sweet Pea. My lip is the soon to be released. I don't know, when's this video gonna come out? It's still probably soon to be released. Darling Lip Liner and the Color Street. Uh, this is the shade Dramalicious. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait. My mascara is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless. I can't remember which one of you told me in the comments, but yes, that is what it is. Simply Ageless. This is the Lash Plumping Mascara that I've been wearing all summer long. I am totally digging the heck out of the Flower Beauty Long Wear Eyeliner in my waterline, my upper tight line. Bravo, it's working very well. I'm a fan. That's what I got going on on my face. Everything linked below. It's so dark outside. We have flood warnings and thunderstorms all day today, so daylight check-in might be a very dark daylight check-in, but I'll come back in a bit with a daylight check-in, and then we'll come back tonight. I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, we are about four hours in on an epically rainy day today. I haven't even gotten a look in the mirror, so I am getting my first look as you guys do. This one's a little... Definitely my summer shade, probably too dark for winter. But as far as I can tell, I think we're looking pretty good. What do you think? I like the finish. Can you hear Charlie? 
I like the finish. I think we are holding up. I don't see anything settling into lines. Coverage still looks good. Shade match, you know, here we go. I usually do try to match my arms. So there you have it. That's where we're at, at about the four hour mark. I'll be back tonight. We'll wrap this one up. 10.38 p.m. That puts us right around the nine hour mark. Let's take a look at how the RMS Beauty, oh, didn't close the top. How the RMS Beauty Foundation held up. It's very comfortable, no issues there. I will say it's not fading as gracefully as some other foundations do. It's kind of starting to bunch up in some places, settle into pores on my nose, settled into my deeper chin lines. So it's it's not grading as grading. It's not degrading as gracefully as I like. That said, I think texture and pores generally, everything still looks well covered, well blurred, well smoothed, like the things it was doing originally, it's doing well in the places where the product is still intact. Let's zoom in and get a look at it. So, like I said, around my mouth and my chin and my nose, that's kind of where the biggest degradation is happening. Now that's to be expected, that's kind of the first place that, that tends to go. But I am missing some coverage on my chin, some product is sort of moved around and bunching up, and I'm missing product on my nose, and I've got some polka dot pores going on on my nose. Blush bronzer highlight is still very well intact. I think this served just fine as concealer, no issues there. My forehead looks fine, nothing's really bunching up or settling into my fine lines. It was really just my deeper lines that it chose to settle into. So overall, not bad in terms of where we're at at the nine hour mark. I would like to see it last a little bit longer. Although, you guys, what has happened to me? <laughs> I used to be up until midnight every single night and now it's like I get to 10.30 and I'm like, whoa, gotta go to bed and I'm getting up at the same time. Like, is this, was the summer of travel and all of my wild trips, like, is that why I'm tired? Am I, is this some weird menopause thing that's starting? I don't know, but <laughs> I regularly now look at my watch and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why am I so tired? I don't know, but I gotta go to bed, you guys. I gotta go to bed. So if I had to give a grade to the RMS Beauty, what's this called? Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. I think I'm gonna go A minus. Really like it, it's nice coverage. I like the finish, it's easy to apply. It does some smoothing and some blurring and that's good, it's got the good coverage if you're trying to even out your skin tone. Wish it lasted a little longer. Wish they had a few more shades. The shade range isn't the most extensive, but overall, Pretty doggone good. A minus it is. There you have it. Another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books. Yes, I did my nails. I changed my nail polish midstream. This is all happening on the same day. Don't worry, I didn't change days. Same day. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks for taking time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I have just really messed this whole outro up, haven't I? It's all good. I told you I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. There it is. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.